Good afternoon, er good afternoon, everyone. It's Steve KF5JUF. Hope everyone's doing okay this evening. Uh, tonight, I am going to try an exercise here in the Abilene area for split operations. So I thought what I what I've been working on today was uh, for anyone who has an FT991A, I thought I might go over uh, how to actually program your radio for for and in split operations. There's actually two modes. There's a mode where you as the radio operator will initiate the split operations and then there's a second mode where the other person might initiate the split operations so what i'm going to go over tonight is how to accommodate each one of those uh, applications or, or requests and so forth so the first one i'm going to focus on initially is if i'm the radio operator and I initiate the uh, split operations, this is how I want to control it. Because if you initiate it, particularly in a pileup, you're in control. You you designate how far you're listening up. You tell your, 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 um, your, your folks on the radio, you tell them you're listening up 10 to 15 and so forth. And it's their responsibility to be able to program their radio uh, if they're interested in, uh, you know, doing split operations. But essentially, what I'm going to do now on the first part of the video is I'm going to initiate the split operations. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave my VFO at 28400, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to split my VFOs, and I'm going to take VFO alpha, and I'm going to listen between 28405 and 28415. So that's what I'm going to do in the first part of the video. And this kind of goes over real quick what we do. And I'm going to post all this in the in the uh, the, the body of this uh, video so you'll be able to see the instructions. But more importantly, I'm going to give you the actual buttons I'm pushing and, and the live demonstration. The second part of it will be is if I, as a user or, or operator, hear someone calling split operations, I'll also go over this also and I'll post this. So I thought it might be good just to kind of show uh, two situations, one where I'm the radio operator and I instigate the split operations, or if someone else instigates the split operations, I need to accommodate my settings and so forth. So we'll go ahead and switch over to the radio and we'll go from there. All right, good evening. We're back with the radio now. So the first thing I want to show you is uh, is to do split operations, one of the things I like to do is I'm going to go ahead and start uh, my QSOs at 28400. But what I want to show you first is you notice this right here. If I down, if I move this down to 28400, the uh, this is not. I, I want this these receive, which is green, and transmit. I want that right here in the center because that's going to be important in our uh, demonstration. So to get that here. We'll press function and sweep. And once we do that, now we have the receive and the transmit VFOs together. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and make a call, and we're going to get in simulation, we're going to get a whole bunch of calls back. This is Kilo India 5, Juliet Uniform Foxtrot calling CQ 10 meter and listening for a contact. Kilo India 5, Juliet Uniform Foxtrot calling CQ 10 meter and listening for a contact. Now, in this scenario, we would get a whole lot of people coming back to us. Uh, this is so-and-so, this is so-and-so. So what I will do then is the first step for me as a radio operator on the 991A to start split operations is I need to go ahead and let them know what I'm doing. And I need to communicate that to everyone out there listening on the calling frequency. So the way I do that is I will say... This is Kilo India 5 calling CQ 10 meter, CQ 10 meter, listening for a contact. And then, and of course, they'll come back. Now, the second thing I'll say is now I'm going to give them instructions that I want them to go up 10 to 15 kilohertz. This is Kilo India 5, Juliet Uniform Foxtrot calling CQ 10 meter and listening 10 to 15. This is Kilo India 5, Juliet Uniform Foxtrot calling CQ 10 meter and listening 10 to 15 up. 10 to 15 up. Now I've given, them, I've given everyone a very important piece of information. What I've told them is 
that I am going to be transmitting continuously on 28400. However, I'm going to engage the second VFO. Now the second VFO is going to allow me to maintain a consistent transmit frequency of 28400, but what I'm going to do with the VFO A, which is the large one, I'm going to be listening between 28410 and 28400. Uh, 415. So the way I'll do that is initially I'm going to rotate my large VFO. Important point here is always make sure the fast when you're doing this, make sure the fast is uh, turned off. Leave this off because it gives you a little bit more resolution with the VFO. So I'm going to dial up to 410. Now the second thing I'm going to do is I'm going to press the AB button. Now the AB button is taking me back to 28400, which is my transmit frequency. I'm going to press the AB button again. Then I'm going to press split. Watch what happens. Now, I am still receiving, and I've told them I'm going to be listening between 28410 and 28415. That's important because I'm expecting them to go up to 2810 to 28415 and that's where I'm expecting them to be transmitting and that's where I'm expecting to hear them so if you look here this is this is where this little uh, spectrum this little uh, waterfall display comes in handy I've got my transmit frequency which is here at 28400 but I'm scanning between here and I'm scanning between here now I'm expecting traffic to show up in here the moment I pick up a station, I'm going to stop and I'm immediately going to say their call sign, call sign 1234-4321, testing, this is Kilo India 5, Juliet Uniform Foxtrot, I have you at 412. Now if that, if he's listening, now if he's listening on 28400, he's going to hear me and I heard him at 28.412.63 so that's kind of the idea of how that works and again if you see we're listening this is the the green is the listening we are we are scanning here constantly listening for anyone and the moment we get a moment we get a station get off that VFO and then get back on your transmit and see if you can get back to him because there's a good probability if he's in this area he's he knows that he's part of the split operations and he's expecting to hear from you on 28400 which is what we have the VFOB set for. So that's an important part so you know that's you know kind of the whole fundamental thing with the VFO is is if you're the instigator this is how you do it you go through you set everything up and then you of course you set your VFOs accordingly and you're good to go. So the second thing I'll show you is, I'm going to go ahead and put all this back to normal. If you're on the receiving end of a um, split operations call, so let's do this. Now what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and press split, and that's going to clear it. Now the VFOs are tracking together. See them? The VFOs are receiving transmit, so now we're back to normal. So the second aspect might be is, if a station actually, you're part of the the, uh, the pile up and the station calls out he's calling uh, CQ 10 meter and he's listening 10 to 15 up this is how you will handle it with with the uh, with the FT 991A so the first thing you'll do is an example this is AB 1 EF calling CQ 10 meter CQ 10 meter listening 10 to 15 kilohertz up I hear that and I want to get a hold of him so what I'm going to do is I'm going to press split operations and now what I'm going to do is he's expecting to hear me he said 10 to 15 up so I'm going to immediately get on VFOB and I'm going to get this thing up here and my plan is I want to get this up to 410 and what I'm going to do is when I transmit Remember, I'm listening on 400, but I'm transmitting on 410, so I'm going to get up here real quick, as quick as I can. There might be a faster way to do this. I haven't figured it out yet. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off on 410, and I'm going to start calling uh, CQ 10 meter. And I'm going to what I'm going to do is I'm going to increment up 
about one, uh, uh, maybe five, let's maybe we do 500 hertz. So what I'm going to do here is there's, there's uh, 10 right there. So what I'm going to do, he said he's listening 10 kilohertz up, which is, that's right there. Kilo India 5, Juliet Uniform Foxtrot, transmitting 10 up and listening for a contact. I'm going to listen. If he doesn't come in, then what I might do then is I might grab the VFO and I might go here to 500. This is Kilo India 5 transmitting 10 500 and listening. It might be what I might do then is I might go to 11. Same thing. So again, he's listening anywhere. Remember, he's list. I'm tr he's listening between 10 and 15 up, and I'm in the same window. I'm transmitting 10 to 15 up. So uh, anywhere I want to stop, I can transmit. Um, but I typically try to stay 412, 413, and so forth. So that way, as he's scanning across the band, he might pick me up. Kilo India 5, Juliet Uniform Foxtrot, transmitting 13 up and listening for a contact. Kilo India 5, Juliet Uniform Foxtrot, transmitting 13 up and listening for a contact. So now the whole situation's flipped. So I am now, again, trying to reach him, and he's scanning while I'm scanning. Now the thing is, if he transmit, he's going to transmit on 28400, which is exactly where I'm expecting to hear him. So again, that's that's how you do it if you're on the receiving end of a split operation. So uh, I'll go ahead and uh, cancel this, and now we've got the VFOs tracking together again. So anyway, uh, this this is this is kind of a complex thing. I I, I spent most of the morning just kind of. Going there, going over everything on the on the document, the procedures, and actually doing it on the radio. Uh, but the ideal is uh, essentially it's like a repeater. Uh, if you're, I, I've showed you if you're in control of the split operations, and then of course if you're on the receiving end of the split operations, I've showed you kind of how to manage that too. So I hope this helps. One of the things that's important is a, a, a viewer had a good point real quick, and I'll show you. Uh, if you have the fast button turned off, and I'm going to show you here, if you go over to Hertz, and it, I've got this on 5 Hertz right now. You see this right here? So in essence, if I turn this button uh, a half a turn, it's going to go up, uh, let's see here, 1 kilo. Yeah, that's, yeah, he's got it set to 5 go back and check that yeah there it is there if I change it to 10 now it's going up to I'll have to I have to go back and double check that I'm sorry for the confusion on that so anyway uh, let's see we've got the fast let's go back to here real quick we'll just do it and see what it shows okay there is 28400 I've got it on fast or excuse me, I've got it on on slow, and I've got it set to five. If I turn it a half a turn, yeah, there it is. A half a turn will be, yeah, 500 hertz, and then a full turn will be one hertz. And then if I change it to there, let's go back again to 10. One turn, two turns. See how that works? So. Anyway, sorry for the confusion. I just thought I'd bring that in real quick. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed the video. And again, um, I apologize. I know this is this is kind of complicated, but I at least I I hope tonight's video at least showed you uh, how to how to instigate a split operations, and then of course if you're on the receiving end, how to handle the management of the input. And of course, always on upper sideband. This is the microphone I use, of course, with the Beezle. So, hope you enjoyed the video. Um, probably not one of my better ones, but at least it gives you some uh, some idea of, of, of how to use the buttons in the radio. So, again, from KF5JUF, have a good evening. I really appreciate you watching. Thanks again.